The treatments of primary brain tumors are generally uh, stapled in the traditional treatment of surgery uh, for excision of the brain tumor, but the treatments that surround and support that surgical excision are, are changing uh, rapidly. There's a, uh, augmenting therapies, uh, including intraoperative M MRI scans. There's research looking into intraoperative radiation therapy to deliver to the brain tumor uh, to avoid damage to surrounding structures right at the time of surgery. Uh, and then many of the therapies that surround the treatment of uh, a primary brain tumor after surgery, the radiation therapy and the chemotherapies. The chemotherapies are making significant advancements both in the delivery of local chemotherapy and chemotherapy that's given orally or intravenously. An exciting development in the treatment of malignant brain cancers has been the approval by the FDA of Avastin. Um, this uh, drug is indicated for the treatment of recurrent glioblastoma multiforme or malignant um, brain cancer. It's the first approval in more than a decade uh, for the treatment of malignant brain cancer by the FDA. Cancer Treatment Centers of America offers the full range of treatment for primary uh, brain cancer. Uh, these treatments start with the foundation of diagnosing the, the tumor or cancer, uh, and this starts with surgical intervention typically. Uh, this may be as little as a biopsy or full surgical resection. Uh, at, that, at the time of surgical resection, we have the availability to treat with local uh, lead delivered chemotherapy, uh, otherwise also known as BCNU wafers or, or the gliadel wafer that is applied locally to the brain. This allows chemotherapy to be as close as possible to the brain tumor and the resection area of the brain tumor to deliver the chemotherapy in a way that doesn't make one sick with nausea and vomiting like chemotherapy that's given in the mouth or in the veins can sometimes do. In primary brain tumors, when they are malignant cancers, uh, chemotherapy is also dependent on in helping with its treatment. We have experienced oncologists that help in uh, selecting the appropriate chemotherapy regimen and d delivering that chemotherapy.